When I was two years old, my parents emigrated from Egypt to ensure a better life for me and my brother. My mother always spoke about how every dollar they had was saved up for years in order to afford a home and life here in Canada. She would tell us about the oppression she faced in her own country as a Coptic woman, an oppression she broke herself to protect me from. Growing up, I heard these stories often, gradually lighting a fire within me, driving me towards activism. By the time I graduated high school, I had decided I wanted to dedicate my life towards equity and had deeply immersed myself in volunteer work. As I continued my education, it was in a first year English class where I heard HIV discussed in a classroom for the first time in my life. Discussing the historical context of the novel, Ronald Reagan, the 40th US president, was spread across the projector screen as he spoke about HIV, referring to it as the gay plague. The faces in my class went white as the reporters in the video laughed along with the politician. It was there, in that English classroom, I had learned about the reality of the AIDS epidemic. I had learned about how oppression can manifest itself in a way that can physically destroy minority groups. I had realized, as I watched a nation's leader laugh off the death of thousands of citizens due to their ethnicity and sexuality, that this stigma still lives on. Before this class, despite never being talked to about HIV in an academic setting, I was well aware of its connection and stigma regarding and surrounding the non-wealthy and the LGBTQ community. Through ignorant jokes in the media, as well as the perpetuation of false information, the narrative taking place in Reagan's conference room in that video lives on, disproportionately affecting the healthcare and minority groups. The teacher referred to this moment in Reagan's presidency as the AIDS epidemic, as if it was a phenomenon that had passed. However, it was clear to me that the epidemic lives on in the stigma surrounding HIV and AIDS in modern society.